Everybody, welcome back to the channel if it's your first time here thank you so much for stopping by today it's Sunday morning it's a beautiful morning it's like Christmas morning because sweatshirt weather has arrived oh it's just beautiful it's like 40 degrees out this morning the there's just a slight breeze the sky is gorgeous I'm just getting out today I'm gonna run out into the country I've got two or three barns that I know that uh, I'd like to shoot and they're all relatively close to the road which is good and bad because the cars out here in the country feel like they need to drive like 300 miles an hour for whatever reason um, thankfully there's no cars coming right now which is very nice but yeah so that's what I'm doing it's Sunday morning a beautiful morning for a drive sweatshirt weather is here it's like October 4th or October 5th today and uh, I'm glad you guys are here I'm glad I'm here and uh, let's go all right so I already got a couple of shots I didn't get any vlogging done at that first spot and because uh, there's way too many cars were flying by I was just barely off the shoulder of the road so I just got out and uh, got some quick shots the moon was up above this small little barn it kind of reminded me of an old Ansel Adams picture uh, New Mexico horizon or something like that I'm quite confident that's not the name of it but uh, probably relatively close so because I was moving quickly with all the cars coming by I put my camera on aperture priority and went to f11 shot a few different compositions uh, both horizontal and vertical which is something that we all should do so I guess some good shots of that like I said F11 ISO was like I want to say it was 320 and shutter speed varied because I did I shot a three exposure bracket each bracket was one stop apart so I've got a a shot that's like dead on right R metered correctly then I got a shot that's a stop below and a stop above and you can set your camera depending on your camera you can set it for two stops above two stops below three stops above three stops below and it, that might be the uh, extent of it I'm not sure don't quote me uh, by all means drop a comment you know if you know uh, that it goes further than that I, I shoot a Nikon D850 so but yeah so we got some pictures in the bag already I uh, am looking forward to checking those out again I moved quickly so I didn't even look at them at the back on the back of the camera you don't have to be smart no need to dress up for me to see that you're a good man you're a good man so now, so now right up the road there's another barn I want to shoot is literally like a hundred yards away so here we go. So for this shot I was at F11. I had, I did bump the ISO up to like 600 because I was shooting handheld and I wanted to make sure that I didn't have any camera shake or at least try to eliminate it um, or limit it as much as I could. So I had the ISO up 600, I, uh, F stop was 11, shutter speed I was getting was like 1, 1 25th of a second or so. Again, shooting that barn over there, the fall corn in the foreground the textures, the browns, the grain bin, the sun starting to come up. So it's just starting to illuminate that left side of the uh, the corn crib. So pretty beautiful. The sky back behind it, the sky back behind the barn is very nice. Yeah, just some sporadic clouds. I like it. Just that magenta color. Sun's starting to pop a little bit now. So 
We've got a couple more barns to uh, to go get, and then maybe we'll go into the uh, processing later on. photo lab gonna process this image right here I have two to choose from either this one or this one this one's a little bit blown out but you get more in the uh, wild flowers and there's a loss you can see over here in the histogram you can see that there's a loss of information in the highlights so I'm gonna I'm going to process this one and as we've talked about before you can tease more out of the shadows than you can if you lose information in the in the highlights it's gone but you can always pull some stuff back out of the shadows so I'm going to go into the develop uh, area of Lightroom and going to start with white balance just going to use auto see what that gives me and I think that's fine yeah I like auto a little bit better it's a little bit warmer so then I'm going to drop into the highlights and shadows area I'm going to bring the highlights all the way down and open the shadows all the way up and then I drop down the lens corrections and I'm just going to click both boxes. You can see it's a looking a little bit overexposed now. But I'm going to hit the transform and I'm just going to use auto just to shape it up just a little bit. Make sure that my horizon's good. And uh, yeah, so now I'm going to go back up and deal with my whites and blacks right here. I'm gonna hit the Alt button on my uh, Mac keyboard. Click, left click on the whites and I'm gonna drag it to the right until I see the highlights showing up. And, whoop, there they go. I just want to stop right uh, as they disappear from the screen. Now I'm going to hold the Alt button and drag the black slider to the left. Kind of do the same thing, but you can take the blacks further than you can take the highlights. Okay. So I'm going to see what this looks like. Whoa, yikes. Yeah, that's no good. Look, oh, that's awful. All right, so back down here. Close that off a bit. And we're going to drag the slider up here, the temperature slider. Make it a little bit more blue. Now we're getting there. That's a little bit better. Let's 
See, I like the wave of colors and textures. So you get this green and it goes into the the khaki-ish color. Now you're getting in, into the darker browns and you come back to the greens and then you have the reds and the blues and then you have a mixture and then you've got uh, a cornfield over here that kind of blends and obviously the, the telephone wires and poles that kind of drag you, drag the eye through the scene. And you can see how they turn off to the left. So you almost have like an S curve with your telephone poles and wires through the image. So not bad. I want to go to the details and I'm gonna to go to the masking and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hold the Alt click and drag to about there you go back up to the basics panel I want to add a little clarity I usually go to around 15-ish. I'm at 17 right now. I'm at 16. It's not bad. Thought I saw some dust spots a second ago. So I'm gonna hit the so I'm gonna hit the the heel and clone brush. It's right here. And click on that leave it on heel, but then I'm gonna go down here to where it says visualize spots. I'm gonna put a check in that. And I'm not seeing anything up here at this point. Okay. All right, so now really all I need to do is I'm gonna crop this and it looks like I'll probably go with an eight by 10 type of crop. Okay, you utilize my rule of thirds. I want this diagonal line and the path kind of cutting through the image and leading the, the viewer's eyes through it. So we're gonna go over here to the crop tool and I'm gonna click where it says original I'm gonna drop it down here to four by five slash eight by 10. And that's not, not bad. I mean, we don't have anything going on in the sky. So, so I, I'm not planning to leave much of the sky in there. I do like how our top line and our rule of thirds is right on the horizon line. I like that. I like that we've got the foreground that I talked about with these little purple flowers and you know we run that uh, pattern and it's soft and you've got texture. I think I'm showing a little more of the empty sky than I would like so I'm going to crop it in a little bit more. I think I like that better. So it's not too bad. Not bad. I'm going to add, I'm going to add a little bit of a vignette just to see, not a whole lot. Yeah. Right now, I'm just kind of scanning the image to see if there's anything I want to dodge or burn. And I think I'm good, honestly. Sometimes I would use uh, the dodging and burning to emphasize 
and give depth to the foreground. But I think we're okay. But for just hopping out of the car and uh, snapping off a handheld shot, you know, I kind of like it. So, all right. Well, that's uh, from the photo lab here at uh, Gillette Central. So, all right. Well, very good. Hope you hope you enjoyed this little uh, processing of the image. So this is the same image that I just processed, but I ran it through Color Effects Pro. And you can see that uh, it added a little saturation. I cropped it just a touch differently, and I actually like this image a lot better. Play.